On October 14, 2025, Microsoft ended Windows 10 support, putting the 10-year-old operating system to rest. This forces millions of users to upgrade their systems to Windows 11, and with its requirements not going anywhere, a lot of PCs are now unsupported. Fortunately, there is an alternative route. Tiny 1125H2 is now out, offering a deep-loaded Windows 11 version 25H2, which is lighter on resources and has no hardware limitations of the vanilla Windows 11. Tiny 1125H2 is built on Windows 11 version 25H2, which Microsoft released on September 31, 2025. Besides bringing Windows 11 to PCs that cannot run it officially, Tiny 11 removes bloat and clutter, making the operating system lighter and more responsive, which is particularly important on older machines. Additionally, it does not require using a Microsoft account, something that Microsoft keeps requiring from Windows 11 users. Finally, users with compatible systems can also consider Tiny 11 as a better alternative to the stock Windows 11. Lighter, less cluttered, and overall less annoying without big compromises. Tiny 11 also exists in a core variant, which is more heavily modified to reduce the overall installation size by two times, sacrificing serviceability in the process. Tiny 11 Core does not support Windows Update, but it is a good tool for virtual machines, offline PCs, or experimentation. Do not use it on your main PC. While using a modified Windows 11 image involves risks, the maker of Tiny 11 says that the images were made with Tiny 11 Builder, a special tool that only uses Microsoft-made utilities to de-bloat vanilla Windows 11. You can create one for yourself if you do not trust the existing Tiny 11 ISOs. If you want to give Tiny 1125H2 a try, head to the Internet Archive using this link.